Welcome to Luxuriously Poor, and I hope you're having a blessed day. And I hope that God supplies all of your needs financially, food-wise especially. Uh, things are getting very difficult and very tight out there. Please subscribe. Um, today I want to discuss with you about um, gorditas, maseca. I have said this before that I like to store things that have a very long shelf life, at least two to three years. And maseca is one of those ingredients that does. And you can make corn tortillas from it, you can make gorditas from it, you can make sopa. It's like little boats that you, you know, you press out the masa and crimp up the edges and fry it. There is so much that you can do. This is a wonderful food that fills you up. I'm going to make what I call chicken gorditas. I have some chicken thighs and all I did was brown them and the chicken meat is, I, I don't like boiled meat, okay? I really don't like boiled chicken so I have a tendency to just kind of cook chicken in its own juice and the skin will get nice and brown and crispy. Now I'm going to pat out these gorditas. Now the secret to this really is just making sure it gets enough water. How do you know if you've really gotten enough water in this, especially when you don't really have any experience and you're sitting and going, okay, well, does this really have enough water or doesn't it? Well, the edges, the edges, if they split a lot on you, if you look at the round the edges when you pat this out and you're looking at it and you see all these cracks and splits around the edges, that means there's not enough liquid in it. So add a few more spoons and work it in. And add a few more spoons and work it in. You can take the same masa, throw it right back in that pile right there, if it's too dry, and start all over. And just work it in there. Okay? And that's all. This is so simple to make. It is not complicated. It is one of the easiest foods. And I mean that seriously. And what we're going to do here is start frying it. And I'm going to make more, and I'm going to put more in this skillet to fry them. And, you know, this is one of my family's favorite things. I don't make it very often. Um, used to, I used to make them with hamburger meat, and you, you know, brown hamburger meat, put it in there. Uh, lettuce, and you put the lettuce and tomato. But I had some chicken, and you can make this with anything that you want. Chicken, uh, hamburger meat, even potatoes. And chorizo even scrambled eggs but I'm gonna flip these you know they get brown on one side and you just flip them over and I'm going to take my chicken yeah and separate it now this chicken was fried in its own juices that's it and it's brown crispy delicious I really don't like boiled uh, chicken I, I just don't care for it and so I have a tendency to brown it in its own juices and cook it in its own liquid and it's on fat and it's on fat will brown it up nicely and actually I'm only going to end up using two of these chicken thighs for these gorditas and I'm going to have two other chicken thighs left over and that I'm going to save and make for tacos tomorrow and here we are folks look at this I'm just going to open them up look you see the edge I'm gonna stick a pointed knife. Now this knife has just a little bit of a serrated edge to it, not much, just a bit. And then I'm going to just cut it open. That's it. It's kind of like a pocket peeler or a pita. Hey, you see? That's all there is to this. Stuff it with whatever you want. I'm gonna stuff it with the chicken that I shredded up. I'm going to put some sour cream in this. I'm gonna put some cheese in it. I'm even going to put some guacamole because I have an avocado and I'm like, oh, I need to use this avocado. So I'm going to put some guacamole in here. Delicious, 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 folks. This is really good. It really, really is. And it's not hard. You know, try it. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, come back and put it down in the bottom there in the comment section and I will be more than happy to answer anything that you might ask me. But you see, easy. And it's made from Maseca, and I love to store that stuff for that reason. Look at that. My family loves this. This is absolutely delicious. Nothing better than making these. Look, they're simple. Just slice them open, and that is it. That's it. I mean, they, there's horses. There's trailers that are going up and down my street here. This is incredible today. 
they're going to be doing, I don't know, they do some kind of with horses and everything out here, and they um, camp overnight and do all kinds of stuff, you know, it goes back to the Wild West days and the trails they have, and that's what they're going to be doing here, and the traffic is incredible, when they do that, it's just incredible how they do things, <laughs> it's just an enormous amount of traffic, but look at this, this is wonderful, try it folks. It's one of those foods that you can store for months and months. Well, God bless you and have a blessed day.